This is the sixth lecture on common ankle and foot injuries. In this video, we are going to discuss about the difference between foot drop and the flyal foot. Let us first look at foot drop. Foot drop is a feeling of weakness while attempting to lift the foot and toes upward. That is in the movement of dorsiflexion. Foot drop typically causes the individual to involuntarily drag the toes of the affected foot while attempting to walk. To compensate for this dragging, a high steppage or slapping gait is attempted, where the leg is lifted higher than normal on the affected side for the toes to clear the surface. Foot drop is usually present when one of the following signs are present. Number one, difficulty or inability to walk on the heels of the feet. Number two, the Romberg sign. That is loss of balance while standing without support and with the eyes closed. Moving towards the causes of the foot drop. Foot drop can be caused by the following causes. Number one, nerve injury. Number two, brain or spinal disorder. Number three, muscular disorder. Let us first discuss the nerve injury. Foot drop is caused by an injury to the common peroneal nerve. Common peroneal nerve is a branch of the sciatic nerve that wraps from the back of the knee to the front of the shin bone. An injury to the nerve may be associated with pain or numbness along the shin bone or the top of the foot. Nerve can be damaged by the following causes including hip or knee replacement surgeries, spending long or sitting cross-legged or squatting, time spent in a leg cast, childbirth, diabetes and sports injuries. Moving toward the second cause, that is brain or spinal disorder, it involves radiculopathy of L5 nerve root, neuropathy of common peroneal nerve or the sciatic nerve by poor injection techniques, lumbosacral plexopathy, that is damage to the group of nerves called plexus in the lumbar and sacral spine, stroke, multiple sclerosis, cerebral palsy, and charcot marie tooth disease. Moving toward the third causative factor, that is muscular disorders. Muscular disorders could involve muscular dystrophy, for example, Duchenne's muscular dystrophy and polio. Now, management for the foot drop. Treatment for foot drop will depend on its causative factor. Early treatment may improve chances of the recovery. The treatment for foot drop may include lightweight braces, shoe inserts or orthotics, physical therapy and the surgical treatment. Physical therapy is used to strengthen foot and leg muscles. It improves a muscle's ability to walk. Electric devices such as EMS may be appropriate. EMS is applied on the motor points of the dorsiflexors. It enhances the muscle function. Surgery may be recommended to repair or decompress a damaged nerve. In cases where foot drop is permanent, surgery to fuse the foot and ankle joint or to transfer tendons from stronger muscles may help improve gait and stability. Let's move towards foot drop versus flyal foot. In drop foot, a person is not able to perform dorsiflexion at the ankle joint while bending the foot downwards or turning it in and out is usually possible with some degree of weakness. On the other hand, in flyal foot, no ankle or foot movements are possible in any direction. A flyal foot may indicate a more serious condition or a medical emergency such as corda equina syndrome. 
we can learn their difference in only a single line that is in drop foot there is sheer weakness of angle dorsiflexion with intact plantar flexion while in fly foot there is sheer weakness of dorsiflexion plantar flexion and intrinsic foot muscles